and welcome. This is Kevin Nelson known as AWOL. And today we're going to double this pattern. This is pattern number 39278. Kind of heart shaped, kind of, but not exactly. Um, so normally this is just what, like six strings, and we're going to make it 12. So not that one. Here. So we're going to make a heart shape. We're going to flip it the uh, other direction when we get done. So I'm going to, I'm giving myself a little bit of space from that center thing. But basically it's just little heart shapes like this. The weird thing is, is it looks more like a heart shape on the graph paper than when you actually tie the knot. Just the angles and stuff, it doesn't really, um, but it's still pretty neat. Overall, I kind of not super fond of the pattern um, because of the way that it doesn't kind of naturally want to do the zigzag. Normally, it's like symmetrical, right? You have strings going on either side. This one takes advantage of basically having not zigzag their way down from the top and um yeah you'll see what i'm talking about here in a moment anyways normally if somebody was going to double this mind you too this extra row over here that's a result of doubling the pattern um normally when people would double this they would have the hearts and stuff exactly the same on the other side and as you may know by now, I'm having fun trying to change that. And uh, this will be no exception. Otherwise, I mean, you just go watch somebody else's videos, right? So no. This is... I'm going to make those very too. Um, yeah, so normally it would look like this. Let's grab this again. Control C. Control V and move tool. So normally, this is how anybody else doubling it would tell you how to do it. I am going to try for something more. Like that. So, yeah, that's. That's exactly what I want to do. So actually, we'll put that to a new layer. Come back down to the layer that I'm working on. And that means go back to this, get my red. And then this will be gray. And this will be gray. And then this will be the heart again. I'm just going to fill this in for now. And then I will show you how we fill in the strings for this. Again, this is... This is harder to make than most other things, just because of the number of times the knots have to zigzag around and how it doesn't, it, it's a weird way of getting something accomplished. It's not my favorite way of doing things. It's kind of a, it's kind of an ugly way to do it, but it works. Um, I've used it in the past to be able to make uh, letters and stuff using the, instead of going alpha, using this method. So, the general gist is, if we have, start off like the red here, it's just going to kind of zigzag its way down and take care of whatever it needs to as it goes. Our 
already as well. We could actually, let's take that one out. Let's put the move the gray over here, send the red out this way. And then the gray does a more natural thing like that. Now the gray can come in again. The red goes out here. Let it kind of trade off a little bit. It'll just make it feel a little bit more natural to me. But that this is the whole general gist of how this works is everything is sort of just trading out a back and forth. So now the next string in will be this gray. And you can see, right, this other red is going to fill in, you know, the other bits of the heart. And it, this whole little weird separation thing happened, but it makes it so that way you've got the gray to go where it needs to be over here. Also, the grays are going to intersect in different places, so the ones that don't get used as much can be traded for the ones that are getting too short. So that's a bonus. Next one will be red. And this is pretty much exactly how the other side is going to go down as well. So um, if you're if you're not into seeing how I'm actually doing it, you could probably skip ahead a bit. I wouldn't blame you. But if you want to actually help me improve my watch hours, you'll sit, sit and hang out and see if I come up with something clever to say. Yeah. So the, the red is going to get kind of hidden underneath here as we get down to the end of the... go that away again I try to find ways of letting the pattern sort of do as natural as it can be like the yeah these are just going to do a little dance down the thing and technically, I think the underlying strings on the other side will pretty much be the same. Just where what pops up at the top is different. That's how we're getting it to go the other direction. Oh, no, that one doesn't go. It's going to back over here. And the gray that comes in this way. Yeah, we're almost done with the first side. Do, 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 do.
and then so this gray went there. No, this gray goes this way. Oh, but then this makes this two reds, but they have to make this square red. So change that. Red go over this way. So three grays, three reds. There we go. That way, the center of it will be a more of a solid. And then we can do the other colors to do the thing. Now, if I was, like I said, was right, this should be able to match up pretty much the same. This is the gray. out that into here and then this red yep see same thing there here this gray does this putting in the gray first seems to help me so I'm gonna just run ahead and do that Again, if you take care of the easy stuff first, the rest is left is, is the easy stuff. So, and I'm just copying what's over on the other side. I would copy and paste it, but then the hearts would go wonky. This comes out, comes in, and then goes here. And this one goes over there. I like how the it adds the little dot alternatively up the center. It's sort of a means to an end because you have that kind of happening anyways. Um, yep, so that's the two there. And you can see I'm basically just zigzagging this thing straight down. This kind of pattern, you can spell out stuff. You can do all kinds of things when you just keep zigzagging two colors against each other. It's not wrong. It's just not my preferred way of doing anything. So. Right, so this is coming in, yeah, just different colors on the top. Makes it a little harder to compare the two. You kind of have to see, you know, when they're both kind of doing the same thing at the same time. But yeah, it's the same. Only a couple more rows to go after this. All right. So the next one is red. That needs to be here. So that one. And the last one is the gray. We might as well bring these down together as we finish it up. All right, comes in. And then the gray. 
If you ever notice that, like, I select the colors from inside of the boxes as opposed to up on the little side, the rationality is the color picker can choose to kind of um, grab, like, an area, right? So it, it's looking and being like, oh, well, you know, I've got this the color red and a bit of gray or black on the border. Um, so it'll kind of mush all the colors kind of together, which is not at all what I want. So um, if I grab in the middle up in here, I'm less likely to have that kind of mess up. Because if you do that, you can keep getting the, the color more and more muddy as you go along and it'll make it really hard to tell which colors were supposed to be doing what and where. So, yeah, it's just a, a thing I do to make it easier for myself. Now, we can get rid of our examples and take a look. We got hearts going this way and hearts going that way. And if I grab this whole top area here, copy, paste, and then the flip tool right over here, and anchor that we have our bracelet so these ones are going one way and then the other on the other side and the same thing on this side so that it's a difficult bracelet to make but it'll be very interesting to look at and i think whoever you gift this to will probably really like it so or maybe you want it for yourself i would blame you it looks pretty cool. Um, thank you to my patron and my YouTube members for making all of this stuff possible. I'm going to go cut some string and see about making this. So, um, yeah, thanks, guys. I will be back tomorrow with having made this, and I'll see if there's any tips or tricks I have for you guys. So, yeah, thanks a lot. And um, as always, don't get your strings in a bunch.